the two important factors which have impacted uh, human life, our empowerment, and eventually will also have an impact on the legal adjudication. One is the nature of the economy as it is growing, and the second is the impact of technology on that economy itself. And there can't be a better living uh, example of this than the two sectors that you regulate, which is uh, telecommunication and broadcasting. If you just look back a little more than two decades ago, these were the two most regulated sectors of the Indian economy. And if we look at uh, how they evolved and where the st situation stood at that time, in broadcasting, uh, the world started getting television in the late 1940s. For some reason, because of our regulated thinking, we got it about 20 years after the rest of the world. And even in the decade of the 80s, we were still debating whether to have color television or not. That was actually the impact on our thought process which the regulatory mechanism itself had. I remember sometimes in the 1990s, the governments at that time still thought that broadcasting was exclusively a state monopoly. One of the reasons why broadcasting jurisdiction was given to the TRAI, because as technology was moving fast, and it was only at that stage it was realized that we were moving towards uh, an age of convergence. The alternate mechanism of uh, dealing with uh, the smaller issues is concerned uh, particularly relating to broadcasting, because uh, you feel that it's uh, uh, flooded with uh, broadcasting disputes. Uh, I think uh, with the experience uh, of the TDSAT, uh, if you could make certain uh, suggestions with regard to the alternative uh, dispute redressal mechanism, because those are also issues which have to be adjudicated and adjudicated quickly. And experience is that uh, if you take it out and leave it to the jurisdiction of the civil courts, uh, then probably the issues can get indefinitely delayed. And therefore, what that alternative mechanism could be, has it to be, uh, uh, has it to be some other mechanism under the Act, etc., which has to be created? I'm sure uh, 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 the government would always be too willing to uh, to, to look at it so that. Uh, 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 the time and energy of uh, uh, the TDSAT is really spent on uh, larger commercial issues and issues relating to how the technology itself is going to play out uh, in, in, the, in the coming years itself. Uh, I think you deal with a sector which is uh, where the best in that sector is still to be seen. I say this because uh, how technology will evolve over the next few decades, uh, nobody really can visualize today. In fact, the world is now talking of the fourth uh, industrial revolution. Uh, many of the earlier ones uh, bypassed India. Some have only partly touched us. And therefore, if the fourth has to be technology driven, there are a few inherent advantages we have. 